Hi, hello, my name is Rosari Perez. I am going to talk about this article, Strategies of Expressing Writing Apologies in the Online Newspapers. Well, I am going to show you an example of qualitative research and I will show you how I determine the qualitative methodology used, right? As you can see, um, the title is Strategies of Expressing Writing Apologies in the Online Newspaper uh, provides information uh, about the human side uh, of an issue. Like, for example, behaviors, uh, beliefs, opinions, emotions, and relationships of individuals, right? Also, over here in the abstract part, uh, you can see this sentence. This paper tries to discuss strategies of editors and is in expressing writing apologies in the online newspaper. Um, it observed here uh, that the objectives are to understand the meaning that the actors give to the actions, right? Experiences, events, and situations in when they can participate, right? Um, also, uh, we can see here that uh, the data are taken from the Jakarta Post, the Daily Express, The Sun, and um, Brisbane Times. The writer tries to describe and analyze utterances in the data sources base. Um, here, it's been emphasized that in the experience of the people, uh, it is based on communication, on the collection of stories, narratives, and descriptions of the experiences of others. You can see that uh, through the data that they are collecting for other um, newspapers. Also, over here, um, you can check this another part. And you can see here that um, well, people in their life should communicate to fulfill various needs, such as, as express their ideas or thoughts for achieving their wants. Also, they are expressing the, communica the communicative um, ability, right? Over here, you can see this part. This paper tries to discuss strategies of editors in expressing writing apologies in the online newspaper. The objective of this paper is to explain uh, what the strategies of writing apologies are in the online newspaper. I have to say that a qualitative research or a qualitative methods are also effective uh, in, in defining uh, intangible factors such as social norms, uh, socioeconomic status, uh, gender roles, um, and religion also. And the three major focus areas of this kind of research are individuals, societies, and cultures, and language and communication. That's what I said before that uh, it was the communicative ability. Um, qualitative is a process of understanding social or human problems. I can well, I have to say that perhaps this kind of um, topics in the newspapers like the apologies can be a human problem for this situation. Also, as you can see here, this study sets here, this study uses qualitative methods. So <laughs> it's really clear here. And the writer says that he chose the descriptive, descriptive and interpretative technique for analyzing the data. So it's really clear that is that this is an article oh, for a qualitative uh, research. So what else? Uh, like I said, this is a, a descriptive interpretative technique. Uh, over here, uh, 
you can see in this description part that we have all the data that the um, uh, person collect. We have over here the data one, data number two, here, number two and number three, and finally data number four, like I mentioned before from the other uh, newspapers. They include a particular context in which the participants the other newspapers act and show the influence that this context has in other actions, right? About the subject that is the apologies, right? Um, finally, we have over here the conclusion. From the data uh, analysis, the writer found that the all of the writing apologies in online newspapers use communication strategies. They use IF. IFID by using per performative verb apologies and be sorry then followed by the expression responsibility, explanations of repairs and promises and forbearance. So um, in this part, um, the person identified the phenomenon and generate new theories based on them. That's all. Thank you so much uh, for your attention. See you next time.